Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the blur effect tool in Camtasia Studio. So you might be using this tool when you're doing tutorial videos like I do, and you're typing in your username and password for something, and you need to blur it out, or you just want some information on the screen blurred out, or you just want a cool effect. So I'm going to show you that right now. Right now I'm in my Camtasia studio. I've got it open and I've got a video file here that I'm going to put the blur effect on. This uh, video clip is of Reed, who is my business partner, and she's talking about blogging templates. And I just wanted to blur the text that was on the screen to show you guys. So that's her right there. And you can see that there's text going on on the screen. And I'm just going to blur that out and show you what it looks like. So to use the blur tool, you want to head over to callouts, go all the way down to the special area, and you can do blur or pixelate. I'll show you both. So I'll use the blur tool first. And you can see it's already, you can see it's already working. So let's say I wanted to blur out all this text. You just move these little circle thingies to arrange it the way you'd like. So you can have it just blurring the first line. If you don't want people to see the first line, the entire paragraph, however you'd like. I usually use this tool when I'm blurring out my username or my password when I'm signing into somewhere when I'm doing these types of tutorials just for privacy. So I am, that is the blur tool right there and you can have it fade in or fade out. So I'll just show you right now the fade in and fade out. How to make your media kit. Now this is particularly a media kit for bloggers. So you could be blogging about your past. So you see how it just faded in and it faded out. We can take that out and just have it just pop up and pop out of the screen. How to make your media kit. Now, now this, this is, is particularly, particularly a media kit, kit for, for bloggers, so, so you could be blogging. So you see how it just popped in and popped out? It, it depends how you'd like it to show up on the screen, uh, but yeah, you can choose that. So next I'll show you the, I'll do the pixelate effect, which is kind of like blurring, but it's in a pixelation form. It's basically, it's still covering up what you don't want people to see. So let's do that. And same thing, you just move it over what you'd like and you stretch it out to how you'd like to cover. And this obviously is different from the blur because it's a pixelate and it's just your preference, what you'd like. Your passion, your dreams, it could be food, fashion, makeup, design, writing, whatever it is. If you have this... So that's pretty cool. You got the pixelate effect going on. Again, you can do a fade in or fade out. And basically you use this tool when you want to cover up something that you don't want your viewers to see or just add a cool effect on your video. So that is basically how you use that tool there. You would then render your video and finalize it and everything and then it would be done. So that's how you use that tool. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more Camtasia tips and tricks, click in the description below. I've got a playlist of a bunch of other types of videos and things that I teach in Camtasia. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. If I've helped you out in any way, please let me know by giving us a like, a comment, a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.